All right. Uh, you are required to have a textbook and I'm going to show you how to access the online textbook for the time being. So that way you can um, start working on the get to know your textbook quiz and start the work that we're going to be doing later on this week. Uh, just a heads up. I do have all the online textbooks or the physical textbooks in the building now. Um, I was just emailed yesterday saying they were here. They look like this. They got a black border and uh, they're big and expensive and you need to take good care of them. I will coordinate a time where people can pick those up once I get them in and inventoried and numbered uh, for the school. So expect that announcement to come later. Until then, let me show you how to access the online textbook. Click on Macmillan Learning or click on the online textbook button down here. Same thing, doesn't matter which one you use. Click on sapling learning or sapling, same thing again. I went through this process with every one of you. However, uh, it appears that it needs you to do it. So that means you will need to use a different email address than the one that has at student. So let's say you have a random uh, ID number and you put the student in here. Unless you're just brand new to the course and I didn't get this done to you, that unfortunately will not work. A couple people in my class um, were able to do it with just this domain. That would work, but technically that's not an email address. So if you actually wanna receive emails, you would need to use like a, a personal email or something. So I could even use my Gmail. It doesn't matter because it's, because it's coming from Canvas, it's gonna be linked to your Canvas anyway. So I'll just use that. You may continue with sign on or provisioning. It's gonna ask you if you agree with the user agreement, like I'm gonna read that, of course I agree. I love math. And uh, you have to enroll yourself as a member of this course, yes. And let it load and then it says, what, what is institution? I don't know what that is. That's your school district. So you're gonna type in Charlotte. Don't, don't finish typing it in. Click on Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. It needs to be, it's very picky on that. Click OK. And we got in. So now you are actually enrolled in the class. It's gonna ask you for more information later. And I, on, honestly, I gotta sit down and figure out all the, the cool things that the site can do because I'm still learning it. But the e-textbook is over here. There's even information about student resources. How do I access my ebook? How can I download my ebook to read offline? I'll let you read through those, but I'll just show you a couple things if you click on e-textbook down at the bottom right. Accept the cookies. I like to have them because that way it can show the things that I've highlighted and stuff in the book, kind of useful. Make sure you put the same email address that you used originally. So, We'll use that. It's gonna ask you for information again. So create a password that meets the requirements to have eight characters. You gotta have an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a special character. So I use exclamation points and at symbols a lot in them. Pick a security question. Um, my favorite flavor of ice cream is coffee. I love coffee. Agree to the terms and policies and click finish. Once you've gone through all that, you are in. The table of contents is over here. It'll have things like the front matter where you got all the cover page, title page about the author contents, um, overviews. It'll have the, all the units with the different chapters and section breakdowns, chapter one, 1.1. I mean, everything's pretty much, you know, like an outline. You can, you can click on things and it'll take you to where you need to go. Um, and then it has the back matter, talking about things like formulas, um, solutions. <clears throat> Some of your, one of your questions might talk about where do you find certain solutions? Um, tables, uh, 
index, all the things that a textbook normally has. Everything that's in this book is there, but more because this online book will have things that'll read examples to you and work them out and have videos and stuff like that. So it's actually pretty cool. So I encourage you to get to know, um, log, you, you need to log in. That's, that's not an encouragement, that's a requirement. You gotta have access to the ebook so you can do the work. But I encourage you to play around with it and get to know it. I certainly will be doing it in the next couple of weeks as I'm learning how to use it. But y'all are gonna get a physical textbook. So that's all I have to say on this matter. So uh, good luck getting signed on and let me know if you have any problems as you, as you explore. Uh, talk to y'all later.